Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is how to create RDLC report and how to load RDLC report in ASP.NET using Visual Basic step by step. Start Visual Studio. Okay, now go to the file menu to create a new ASP.NET website using Visual Basic. So go to the new, click on website. Yes, select Visual Basic in the template in the left hand, and select ASP.NET web form site. Name the website. Website name is create RDLC underscore web underscore tutorial. Locate in RDLC tutorial in GJ. Okay, now the website is created. These are the default text and content. Uh, now I just removed all the content and uh, text uh, uh, from this default aspect page, and I will design it newly. To design this page with report viewer and uh, a button control, first of all, I'm gonna add a deep tag. So this is the deep tag. Deep. I just added a deep tag. This deep tag I'll use as the heading of this page. So user info report in RDLC the text is user info RDLC report. Okay, now I just added it in the deep and in this deep tag I will add uh, RDLC report viewer. Now I'm gonna design this uh, heading deep. Header deep. So go to the style in the property and uh, select color for color for color yes for color is white and now font size font size is double x large now select background and back color back color is yes now this is looking nice okay it's done just select the div yes user info report in rdlc go to the chores yes now align as center so align equal to center the deep tag okay now it's uh, aligned the text the center now in the second deep uh, the body deep I will add I will also make align as center of this deep and then I'm gonna go to toolbox add a button control this button control I will use to load report and uh, RD, load RDLC report uh, in report viewer so design this button button for color is white and uh, font uh, font size font size is large okay and now change the back color of this button button back color is yes now this is looking nice go to the button now add a report viewer so expand the reporting and just drag the report viewer and drop in the div okay the report viewer is added now resize this report viewer yes it's done now go to the button click event yes in this button click event i'll write code to load rdlc report first of all go to the sql server yeah, this is SQL Server Authentication Server name option underscore PC Login SA And password is SQL Server Password Click on Connect Yes Database name is Programming DB I already created and table is user info underscore to we can see Now columns, columns are user ID name Address, SX and date And these are the records in the database table User info underscore tab Okay now go to the server explorer and connect to connect first of all right click on the data connection and click on add connection yes select the server name my server name is option underscore pc so uh, select and ask also authentication ask authentication is an msa and password is ask server password now select the database my database name is programming db let's test the connection yes test connection succeeded click on ok yes it's connected in server explorer and the table you can see the id name addresses and sex 
now I'm gonna add new RDLC report so go to the solution explorer right click and I add new item yes now select RDLC report yes this is report name the report report name is user details dot RDLC click on it yes the RDLC report is added you can see report data go to the new data set now I have no data set first of all I have to add a data set to add a data set right click on the solution add new item yes now select data set yes this is data set data set name is the name the data set data set the name is user data set dot access click on yes yes data set is added now just to drag the table from the server explorer to data set yes user info underscore report and the table column also this is the data table and data column columns also displaying in the data and uh, data table okay now connect the data set in report data in that case data set data source data source is user data source and data set is user in user underscore tab user info underscore tab okay now the data table is added insert a rectangle this rectangle i will use as header this is the report header you can see now text box add a text box in the header this is report header the report header is user details report okay align is center and change the font size font size is 16 feet yes or no select and select yes 16 okay it's done make it bold okay okay now right click on the rectangle and click on rectangle property yes go to the fill change the fill color of this rectangle yes purple click on ok yes now the rectangle uh, fill color is purple change the font color of this text object font color is white yes user details report is now looking nice okay now design this report with a data sheet now insert a table yes in this table i will add columns size id name addresses sex and date of birth so first of all click on user id data is username address insert a column to the right yes one more column two more column yes now this one for age and this one for sex and this one for date of birth all the columns are added in the rdlc report okay now design is 10 change the font weight and for color of hair header of this table yes font color is aqua no font color is white and change the back color back color is purple yes okay now this is nice looking nice now insert a text box this text box for signature okay check by now insert a line this one for oval line yes now this is looking nice now go to the click event and uh, write code to load RDLC report in Microsoft report viewer so dimcon is new scale connection to use SQL connection you should import system.data.sql client okay it's imported system.data.sql client okay now these are the column right in the database click on the property so just double click to select the connection string and uh, put the connection string yes user id sa and password sql server password now command dim com as new SQL command SQL command is to select all the records from user info underscore tab to RDLC report so select star from user info underscore report underscore tab and initializing the connection string con now dim d as new SQL data adapter com com is SQL command now data table dim dt as new data table 
to use data table you should import system dot data yes using import system dot data it's also imported now da dot fill dd it's done now i'll load this dd in rdl uh, report viewer so my report viewer name is report viewer one okay now with me dot report viewer one dot local report dot dd choose dot clear first of all clearing the data source and then dot report path report path equal to server dot map path yes server dot map path my report name my report name is user details dot rdlc this is the report name user details dot rdlc just copy this report name and paste in the server map path double quotation okay now dot data source dot add now add the data source new microsoft reporting dot web form dot report data source yes this is the dt is data table dt this is the dt and this is the data set one okay data set one okay now final let me dot report viewer one dot refresh report you must uh, refresh the local report dot refresh report you must report the uh, refresh this report to load record okay now right click and view in browser click on load report yes all the records displaying in the microsoft report viewer in rdlc report you can see address london oxford liverpool age 25 sex username is already all the records and all the columns also okay now i'm gonna adding higher close just higher address equal to liverpool okay now go to the browser and reload the load report yes now you can see those records displaying her address is liverpool okay now change the higher condition higher a is greater than 25 so now load report yes oh no unclose quotation mark after the character string oh yes remove this quotation mark single quotation save and uh, reload this page recent yes those records displaying where a is greater than 25 you can see there are the four records uh, uh, is is greater than 25 26 30 and 29 okay thanks for watching this tutorial